Hey, it said we're live. It's working. Yes, this is awesome. <laughs> it's only the first time. This is my first time. I'll figure this out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's going on, everybody? It's Motu Joe, and we are live. We have stuff. We have a lot of stuff. We have quite a bit of stuff to share. Um, one of the main things is the Virgil Abloh series from Mattel Creations. Um, there's a few other boxes as well. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store box. And um, it's unboxing. So let's get to it. I am so excited. Totally. So here's the first one. So this is how the, the boxes came. Uh, all of the Virgil Abloh boxes came like this. So they have a uh, special packaging on the outside. All four were shipped in individual boxes. Uh, they were not shipped in one big box, which was a little different, I thought. What's up, Jay? Thanks for tuning in, man. And when you open it up, it says, you know, what does that say? Q dramatic box opening music. <gasps> and then when we get inside, there's a little piece of tissue paper. And then we see that there is a card, a certificate of authenticity. And I do like the Masters logo. Carol Virgil Abloh, action figure was created through the collaborative efforts of the designs and arts at Mattel. So let's take a look. Here's the first one. Come on. The packaging is really cool. I'll show you the back first. You got special. Oh, wow. That's a really horrible glare. Wow. That's a horrible glare. That's going to be tough. But it's monochromatic. This packaging is really going to be tough to show. Holy cow. Yes, it says she on it. So apparently there's um, some tie to the woke movement. And I'm not entirely certain. Uh what the significance was and why they chose Skeletor and not sure of that. I did, did try to find a little bit of research, do a little bit of digging, but I didn't find much or anything specific. So if anyone has any intel, let me know. So there's Skeletor. Now, for those that couldn't quite make out what that was, that was the Skele God from the Masters of the Universe uh, series. Uh, sorry, the Masterverse series. Oh, almost misspoke there. And you know what? I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do a Virgil, and then I'm going to do another box. So I'm going to grab this box over here, and then we'll go back to Virgil. This stuff came from overseas, and this stuff, I believe, I believe it was geek stuff. I, I'm almost positive that's what it was. And we'll take a look, see here. You guys can see what this is. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're, they're these are ceramic mugs, and they have this rubberized. It's like a rubberized texture sleeve that goes around it. So your face is there. This rubber sleeve. It's pretty cool now i have not seen these in the u.s although it does have a u.s sticker on it here like it could be it's from numskull but and this is cost cups c-o-s-c-u-p-s -S so there's there's one i bet you can guess what the other thing is hey what's up mochi brian thanks for tuning in man i hope you are doing well enjoying retirement I still got a long ways to go. All right. This one, I wonder what it's going to be. wonder what it could possibly be. Okay. Skeletor is definitely better. He-Man's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I like it. It's cool. But the Skeletor is definitely better. The rubber, it's it, it's all right. Look at the sword. Check out the sword. There's the inside. They're just ceramic 
mug cups. I don't think. Oh, it does open up. Holy cow! There's a whole bunch of languages inside. So, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. So there's. Again, this is I believe geek stuff, geek junk. Gosh, Joe, you're an idiot. Should have remembered. But guess what? I got another box of stuff from them. So that's coming up. All right. Next. Virgil figure. So the Virgil Abloh series. Again, this is from Mattel Creations. And uh, there were four of them available when they first came out. Huge dramatic box opening music. Same intro. I'm sure they're all going to have that same type of thing. <clears throat> same tissue paper. Same certificate of authenticity. No difference there. And now we have... This is He-Man. This is He-Man. And it's a very, very, very dark, deep chocolate looking color. I'm sure there's, I believe all these browns are Louis Vuitton. Uh, Virgil Abloh was uh, one of their designers from 2018 and, uh, until, he, until he passed, I believe. Um, here we have, uh, again, it's hard with the glare to see. Uh, this one is again titled Woman. And it's He-Man from the Masterverse series. And the special packaging, again, a uh, limited art series. Uh, they are cool. I do like the monochromatic idea behind them. I know a lot of a lot of collectors out there were like, oh, that'd be really cool. They have a whole bunch of these that you could just paint however you wanted to. But uh, the cost of that was expensive. Now, other people were saying, well, well, the cost of these were expensive. My gosh, they're just gouging. Well, there's an art side to it. Um, the whole movement that Virgil uh, was helped behind, there was a, a crossing that was, I believe, anticipated to happen. Um, I don't know if it did, but some people were upset because it was just an injection mold, one single color, no real effort or work to it, and the prices were increased, and they didn't like that. But they weren't evaluating the crossover, some of the elusiveness, the, who knows? There's no right answer. I'm not saying that I have the answer, but I always thought it was interesting that those figures were as expensive as they were being single molded, but I wasn't opposed to it either because I understood the other side of it. And um, again, I do like the monochromatic side of things that came from that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see some goodies from Articulated Chad. Wouldn't actual chocolate figures have been slightly better? You know, chocolate figures would have been delicioso. Yes, chocolate figures. I want more chocolate figures. We have that one chocolate egg that is um very 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 fragile i that there's no way that will survive the, the whatever happens with moves and everything else it's just it's a brittle hollow chocolate greg what's up my friend how you been all right so let's do let's do big bad let's do big bad let's open up some big bad all right that's pretty cool oh that is really cool and does that spin? Oh, it does spin. Oh, check it out. The King His figure is pretty cool. I like that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm thinking, yeah, it says you're supposed to push down or in. Oh, you push in. The arm's left up. There you go. That's cool. I like it. I like this the snake side of it. His mouth does move too. I didn't notice if you saw that. It's pretty cool. Um, box is okay. I like the representation of it. I haven't I haven't fully caught up on season three. I don't know if we actually see this guy in it or not. I don't know if it's going to be in season four. If anyone has any information, if we're going to for sure have a season four or season five, if there's going to continue, that would be great to know. That would be great. Let me know. Uh, the cups uh, came in. Woo! That's right. The cups came in, man. Yeah. Ah, Brian. Down. Yes, it is a rather dark brown, but eh, whatever. So we got another Virgil. We're going to split these up. I'm doing, I'm mixing it all up. We're going all over the place tonight. Huge dramatic box opening music yet again. Certificate. And this time we have Skeletor. You know what? I don't need to take them out of the box. 
All right. So you guys know what the back looks like. It's the same thing as before. Here we have her. This is a Skeletor, though, not Skelegod. That's the difference. This is Skeletor versus Skelegod. Actually, the, the not taking out of the box reduced quite a bit of the glare. That was good. Um, single, this would have been like your basic buck, you know, your plain monochrome. That would have been done for like testing, whatever you want to call it, um, prototypes and whatnot. Again, still the same color. And again, I believe all the colors are based off of the Louis Vuitton uh, brown palette scheme. Oh, what do we got here? This is non Motu. How did that get in there? I, I did like the Ronin series, uh, book at least, sorry, the story. And I do like the whole concept and the figure. And this one is armorless version without armor, I guess. But sorry for Motu fans. There's a little bit of TMNT thrown in there for you. Woohoo! Um, all right, we'll do one more. This is actually for a friend. This is for Stefan. This is going over to Germany. He needed this particular set, so I was able to get it from Big Bad Toy Store. Hooking up, friends. Going to pass this off to him. I got a few other things going for him as well. And, um, yeah, yeah, that'll be good. All right. Want to do the last Virgil before we dig into the last two boxes? All right. Let's do the last one. You want to guess what this one is? I bet you can guess based on the size. Oh, this one actually is a little bit different. The certificate's on the outside of the tissue paper, and it's upside down. That's the first time I've seen that. Damn, that's some really stiff cardboard. Really stiff cardboard. I do appreciate the packing of that. Wow, that's in there tight. Holy shit. How did they how did they even do that? How am I? I think I think this is how they did it. Okay, so they really did pack this well. In the bottom, they put a spacer block to keep this from rattling around inside. I do give you credit for the packing of that. Look at how well the tissue paper is around it. My OCD is going to wig out because I'll never get it back quite the same. And there we go, guys. Here's more of what I think I think we would call more of a milk chocolate brown battle cap. I know the glare is really tough, guys. I'm sorry. And this one is titled War. So not entirely certain where and how all the references tie together but that's okay i'm in it for the collectability and anything with this motu stuff i, I want to have it in the collection so oh i got it back in i got it back in yeah i don't feel so bad now yay ocd ain't gonna agree then all right so let me before we dig in back into the boxes here let me set that down and answer some questions because there's some comments that have come in and I've been missing some of them, so I apologize. All right, let's get going here. All right, ha, what's up, dude, from Masters of the Mini Comics Attribute. Hey, I'm trying hard to get my kids into the new show, but they don't seem interested, so I haven't bought anything from that show. Yeah, if the kids aren't into it, I get it. It's kind of tough. Um, if you like it, do it, but if it's not, then don't. I guess that's, that's what it is. I, it'd be great if the kids were into it because then it just creates this other sense of play and then there's other potential for additional play. But I get it, man. At least I give you credit for trying to introduce it to them and trying to see what happens because oftentimes that doesn't even happen. Henry, what's up, man? Jeffrey, thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. Vaughn, how are you, my friend? All right, we're going to keep going. Let's keep going. International international box some of you have seen this i wish i had known about this long ago but i didn't it is a officially licensed ugly sweater from numbskull this is amazing absolutely amazing fully knit and it's very tough to see there you, it does show you can see 
that's like that puff style um patch if you will it's in my size and i don't have an extra one to open so i'm like ah it's so freaking cool it's so freaking cool that is a one hell of an ugly sweater and and it was on sale because i was able to get it just after christmas <laughs> so yeah saved a couple bucks there and since i'm still in this box here why don't we dig into these two and we'll show you what these two items are random completely random red and blue retro style sunglasses not kid size adult size adult size they're pretty cool they're basic I mean, they're your regular freaking 99 cent dollar store gas station type but they have masters on it so that makes it cool it's gonna be really hard to see the logo stuff but you can see it there on the arms same with this that one's even more difficult to see but it's the logo there and then we've got the logo there what else we got let's go back to big bad toy store this piece, uh -huh. Stefan, he needed it, was able to get it. Uh, my local stores did wind up getting them, but because of the flat rate shipping and the way it worked out, this actually wound up coming out better overall for us because of the four pack as well. And the last item in the bottom of the big bad toy store box, <laughs> movie Skeletor and no oh, i didn't see the graph on it oh well but uh sorry i was looking for it. so amon has done one of these uh has done the artwork on many of these things and one of these designs i was looking for i don't think it was this one it may it may have been this one uh was his favorite rendering i just saw a post about it recently um maybe it was even today but this is um the Masterverse series, and there's rumors of it possibly ending. I'm not buying into anything yet because rumors are rumors, but there's always strong possibilities. We all love this, but if it's not hitting certain numbers for whatever reason, we know it's going to go away. That's just the way this works. It's hmm. Speaking of the way this works, I did a fun experiment. I'm actually going to produce and do a non-live video which is pretty rare for me but i uh i ran the numbers on what it would take in 2022 to buy toys just toys and i may have touched on this in the last episode or last video that i went out live on but we're talking just like toys uh, mega constructs um good smile company uh origins masterverse mondo uh, toys action figures this did not count shipping did not count doubles did not count sales tax did not count statues um did not count um merchandise of any kind right i ran the numbers and it is shocking shocking i tell you uh they're huge it's a huge number it is, it is, yeah, I, I was surprised. And for the record, when I do the video, and I'll say it again in it, I did not get it all, but I came close. It's a lot. <laughs> all right. What's in the bottom of this last international box? Well, it's a box. It's a box with a box. It's actually a box with a box, two boxes of socks. That's right. 12 days of socks. However, it's best to see on the camera there. Skeletor. He-Man. And there are 12 pair of socks inside here. Now, the problem with this is that I knew immediately I'm not even pretending to open this up. I'm not even going to pretend to put the socks on because I know without a shadow of a doubt, there is no way, no way that this is going to fit me. Not even, as a matter of fact, I just saw the size in the back. I wear a size 14 us uh most of the time i can do a 13 and a half but 13 and a half isn't available um 
This is size 10. There's no way. No freaking way that's going to get on my foot. So we're going to leave those in box. And that's one hell of a cool merch item to have. Elated to actually have those things. They didn't even know about it. They didn't know about it. There's some other stuff coming over from Germany as well. Stefan and I have some stuff going back and forth. There's some really cool things coming that Europe has that we haven't got here. And I know that's always like this and that back and forth. We do have most of the stuff here in the U.S., but they do get some things over there that's pretty cool that we don't have. And fortunately, there's going to be another box coming with some really cool stuff. All right, let's answer some questions, see what's going on here. Oh, Bradley Smith, man. Thank you. I appreciate you tuning in. Daniel Redden, thank you. Amazing. Uh-oh, almost choked again. My buddy's customs. Uh, any, If anything... It may end at retail and go on online. Yep. Yeah, yep. Very strong possibility, my buddy's customs. Uh, Jason Layton, what's up, man? Uh, I think it was on Pixel Dan video and a walkthrough on the con when he was talking with Josh and Mattel. Okay. That, yeah, see, my buddy customs. So, for those of you that don't know right now, I'm reading comments from someone on YouTube uh, while we're also streaming on Facebook. So, we simulcast, or when I say we, me, myself, and I. It is both on YouTube and Facebook. So if you are watching both and you like and you're seeing this stuff, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. If you're following on Facebook, hit the follow button, hit like. And, you know, if you want to, even share the content. It's fun. We're just having fun shooting the breeze. Almost swore there. I try to not to do too much of that. Um, last year's Comic-Con. It was crazy. Origins, Masterverse, and crazy how much in just those two lines. It's insane for just those two lines how much it has. I've got some new Masterverse figures recently. Roboto, Sorceress, Evil, Lynn, Stratos, Too Bad, Origins, Mechanic, and Road Ripper. Nice, my buddy's customs. I, uh, I'm i only missing the Too Bad. I know there's some here in market. I just haven't gone to hunt them. I'm eventually going to find them. Uh, and Boltman has hit Big Bad TS Pile Loot. Nice. Yes. I do have a couple items in my loot pile there with bbds but i have not i don't think i've got that one in my actually i don't know i don't know i gotta check uh oh this is this is gamer but i changed my name starting with the actual youtube channel and doing videos oh all right there you go <laughs> so my buddy's customs is gamer bud uh did you buy any frog army no i didn't buy a frog army no i would have loved to have had a few of them but i i bought my two and that's it um one to have on display and one to set and forget and yeah i might open one i don't know it'd be really cool but it was weird um i know that they're becoming more easily more readily available i know people are able to get in there and get out of it a little bit faster there hasn't been the problems as much since one dar there probably hasn't been as much pressure since one dar but um what i what i where was i going with this what i did see was a screenshot someone sent John Idis actually sent a screenshot of somebody that had 17 of them for sale on eBay already. Obviously, they're still able to manipulate the system somehow to get 17, or they have just a network of people all banging out, banging them out and trying to get them. But anyway, whatever. Neither here nor there. You know, I do have a couple other things. I do have a couple other things, and they're actually right behind me. This stuff came from Joey P. What's up? He hooked this up. I've had these for a long time. I sometimes I just don't get the stuff, man. There is a pile of stuff, and some of this, some of the items that I'm showing right now were hidden behind that. But I did not have this version of this sword. Now it does not have the internal light components, but that's okay. Um, the top half here, I, I can you can find that via other sword toys via this era and and make something work but sticker still on it the glow in the dark version that's pretty freaking wicked that's pretty freaking wicked you gotta love the retro merchandise stuff which speaking of i have some more of that to share oh actually this isn't the retro merchandise this is from legions con that's what i mean like there's still stuff that i've so this is a sword that they call it the terracotta sword because it came out the wrong color. It was not supposed to be that color and they weren't happy with it. So as opposed to just getting rid of them and they had them, they handed them out to people in line. This is freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Random stuff, random stuff. I'll set that over there. 
And uh huh. Oh, I haven't opened this yet. Another box. I forgot about this one too. So this one's from uh, uh, a good friend, Chris Merrill. We did a little transaction, actual. And I haven't opened this. I forgot. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't tag him. I'll have to do it afterwards. I can't. That's right. I can't tag when I do the main live anyway. Open up, please. Open. Okay, so this one is goofy. This is definitely a goofy item. Definitely a goofy item. He, we don't know if it was intentionally done like this. I highly doubt someone went to repair something and then did this. We think it might be a factory error, but who knows? Who knows for sure? Uh, so needless to say, when he's like, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this, I was like, Oh, thank you very much. And here we go. Bam. This is a He-Man watch that happens to have Mickey hands. Those are Mickey hands on a Motu timepiece. Now, again, we don't know if somebody went in and swapped out the hands that doesn't seem likely it's probably just an error and if it is that makes it even more special but regardless it's a cool freaking item so there you go a motu motu mickey there you go that's pretty cool pretty freaking sweet all right there's even more Justice Curry had a whole bunch of the DVDs and I picked up a bunch of them and I just realized that this one isn't the one that I got from him. I already showed you that one. This is one that I ordered off of eBay. This is one that I was missing from the set. And at this point, I believe I'm only missing one of the DVD packs. I believe I'm missing, it's the most expensive one. I think I'm missing season two of the second series of this one. Uh, and then I would be able to complete the mural on the side here. Why am I bothering with that when I have that bad boy sitting right over there? I don't know. It's just the OCD in me. I want to collect them all. I got to try to collect it all, but I still got that there too. So I know I have all the content, actually more content, a lot more content with that set. Also, random display bot from the bag clip series. This is from the second series. And in truth, I think I have one up in storage, but I could not remember and someone was kind enough to give it to me so i was very happy to take that As a matter of fact uh, i believe that was brett um from tardy's collector's corner yeah chuck what's up my friend the hour gray skull yeah uh jed mace the master verse catra only had one eye painted on the mask oh really well i bet you if you send them a note they'll do something for you catra i'm sure they can replace I will say that most of the time, most of the time, if you're just genuine and sincere, you reach out to the company with the picture and ask if there's anything that can be done. It's amazing what happens. My son, we bought a four pack of root beer and um, shuffle. Sh I, I sh I'm going to say the name wrong. It's the it's oh it's it's like a craft artisan beer. No, I feel like an ass because they were so cool. He was missing one root beer in it. I said, I'll just send him a note. Just, hey, you know, I got this four pack and it turned out that one of them was empty. True story was. I don't know how it was so fast, but it was on uh, New Year's Eve when they he sent the message. And I think it was the second, maybe the third, like it was instantly a full case, 12 in a foam pack secure. We're sorry. That's amazing. That's kick ass. Why am I off on that tangent? I don't know. I didn't know. I just, it was really cool. My ADD kicked in there really bad. All right. Digging, 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 digging. Oh, shoot. There is more stuff back here. Okay. That we already saw. I know that one. This. Oh, man. This is some pretty, this is unique fabric. 
If I'm not mistaken, this fabric was only available in the UK. This is not a US uh, swath of fabric. And please, if somebody knows different, let me know. I, I, I don't want to misspeak, but I believe this was only available in the UK. Look at this. And this is this is what they would have. You can see it's an un there's the edge of it. There's one scene, and this scene would have repeated itself going this way from the bottom, then it would come down, and then we'd have another layer right here. So here we have a it says 1982 all rights reserved, but I don't see a COO on it to know for sure. Again, I believe it was the UK. So this piece is pretty freaking cool. Again, this is all Joey. Joey had this piece, and I don't know how or where he got it from exactly, but I'm very grateful that I was able to get it. He hooked it up. I don't know what that's from. That's concerning. We got a green bag. I did not have this bag. Nope, I did not, but it's a nice little duffel. If I'm not mistaken, this could be one of the vintage ones, or this could be one of the ones from um, Brazil. I think this actually is one of the vintage ones. It's older, and it seems to be fairly weathered. Oh, I didn't have these guys. There's several different colors, but I did not have the 3D head Skeletor. I have a red He-Man version. I did not have any Skeletor. So this is the first Skeletor with the foam, or that's not foam. It's a hard plastic head. It's so freaking wicked. I love it. I love it. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. Okay, we, there's, there's still more. There's still more. There's more. There's more. This piece, I don't even have to open up all the way. It's the red sleeping bag. No, I do not have the red sleeping bag. Despite all of the things I have, I did not have the red sleeping bag. I have the UK sleeping bag. I have the 2000 X sleeping bag. I actually have two of the US sleeping bags. I zipped them together so I could fit inside of it ish. I have the raw bolts of this fabric. I have, I think, six sections of this fabric, but I did not have this particular sleeping bag. So Joey helped me complete not only this, but also got me a, several things I did not have, which I just showed everybody. I mean, dude, the guy's awesome. Our community is pretty damn awesome. Everyone here that's watching is awesome. I mean, you're taking time out of your day to sit around and listen to me talk about He-Man toys and other collectible stuff. And I appreciate it. It's fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you. So let me dive back into some questions here. We'll wrap it up, and um, yeah, we'll see what's going on and talk about maybe the next thing that we're going to do. Uh, Brayskull, I have Motu flat sheet. Nice. Sean Nelson, Motu is a truth. Netflix He-Man CGI was canceled. Have you heard this? I don't know. I was hoping someone might be able to chime in with that, Sean. I was, I'm hoping that there's more because we see King Hiss and some other stuff. I hope there's more. We're definitely as the continuation of the Revelation series, that's happening. But that was originally part of the contract that was just broken up series one and the two halves. So we might get the same thing here. Who knows to say for sure. Mimi, what's up? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Skeletor head on bag. Look to be in great shape. It is in great shape, Dale. Super good shape. Like, amazing. Do you have stuff? Do you stuff the bags? No, Chuck. Right now, I don't stuff the bags. I actually have inside the toy room, I have the toy box, and I have my Castle Grayskull custom display from it. It's an old toy box that it's a castle, Gray Castle, but I made it Castle Grayskull in green. They're basically two toy boxes. Both of those toy boxes hold um, bags and um, tents. So the bag collection is in there and the tents. So the pop-up tents, the little play tents and all that stuff and the poles, all those things, those are in those two areas in there. So I do not have the space to have them stuffed. It'd be very, very cool to do so, but unfortunately I don't. Sean, 
Sean, woohoo! That's awesome. Uh, King Panther, Mr. Joe, we were able to pre-order three fragments this morning, and Mondo He-Man Deluxe looks epic next to Shira, Shira and Man at Arms. Joe, those blankets bring back, bring back forth memories. Oh, thanks, King Panther. I appreciate you tuning in and, and sharing, man. I did pre-order. I got a couple of the frog mongers, and um, I pre-ordered Deluxe. Epic next, epic, excuse me, looks epic next to Shima. 